<laughs> Ford Maverick size comparison and some really awesome accessories. Some of the best accessories you can buy. Let's have an accessory Ford Maverick talk right here and talk about size. Now this truck is getting a lot of slack for being made in Mexico and being small. I can tell you this thing of all the Fords I'm getting and even compared with Lincoln's, I'm not having any paint defaults, any uh, paint errors from factory. The paint on this, you know, there's not overspray, there's not underspray. This thing was painted better than our Ford Bronco, folks. The Ford Mavericks have been coming in with excellent quality. The, ga the gapping between the, the parts means there's, it's perfect. This is assembled very, very well. Applaud the factory making this out in Mexico. Just because it's made in Mexico doesn't mean it's crap. That's, you know, backwards thinking if I can say that. This is a great truck. Layered lighting, just like that new Lincoln Nautilus we just looked at. But here are some really cool accessories. Look at this. You got the, the bushwhacker or the added, um, instead of going with, you know, mud guards, mud flaps, which I think are a must-have on most vehicles. Mind you, the Ford Maverick is all plastic on the bottom, so you don't really quite need mud guards if you're, unless you're really worried about people following too close and eating a rock and end up ending up in an altercation. But these bushwhackers, I think, look amazing. I think it's ideal when you either have a spacer for the wheel or you, which, you know, could be dangerous. I had a spacer cause me problems with the, an older Mustang. I could have lost the wheel, lost my life. But oh my I think a little wider tire would look even better with this, but these those are BF Goodrich KO2 tires on, which I love as a year-round tire. I love the Bushwhacker, and look at that Yakima rack. Very cool. You can throw practical. up a canoe, a kayak, very practical. So some really and cool accessories. Did a great look on the, the Maverick. <laughs> yeah, even if it's a hybrid, it's got this crazy off-road look. We actually filled in our lettering, and you can actually, we'll try to maybe put in this episode, put our Amazon affiliate link, um, which, by the way, we do get. Uh, if you go out and buy through, if you click on our Amazon affiliate for car parts but end up buying Christmas presents, we <laughs> will get, you won't pay any extra, but Amazon will give us a cut and it will help us out with our Christmas and all our <laughs> automobile and dog and kid plans. So we'll, we'll have to throw those in there. Help us out. Uh, it is a paid where I'm, we're mentioning this because it is a something that will help us out payment wise. So we'll put that on the mini episode. But I think those, I'm surprised. These look great. Uh, on some trucks, they look less good because of the spacing, but the Maverick did a great job. They actually put like a little rubber or plastic line here to really make sure there's no gap. It looks really good and also to help not so that there's no, you know, plastic on metal vibration so it scratches your paint or eats through your paint. So you've got kind of like a little added seal that I'm not used to seeing and it also helps blend it in with the metal so very well. I'm very impressed by these and that I do, I'll have to get back to you, I believe your Ford store will help you get these. Uh, if we can add a link to them, we'll add a link to them, obviously. The rack looked really good on the vehicle and very practical. And the bolts on this, actually, they don't look cheesy or cheap. The, the whole system looks good. Now, of course, I do recommend you get that or mud guards, mud flaps, you know, the little flaps that, you know, so you don't kick up rocks, especially if you're going to have more aggressive tires like these BF Goodrich tires, they do kick up more rocks. So protect your paint, protect other people's windshields. Maybe you don't care about pe other people's windshields. You should, but you should also care about not, you know, maybe who knows who's behind that windshield and what type of temperament they have. So avoid altercations. The best defense, the best fighting skill is to avoid a fight altogether. That's, you know, that's not wimp talking. That's, you know, Navy SEAL. And, Na Na and Navy SEALs will tell you that. The best altercation is to avoid altercation. <laughs> unless forced, unless necessary. So here's another little zoom in on that SEAL. Look how clean that is. Is it just me? Am I just overselling this? <laughs> you find this I a think nice you clean... I really love that. <laughs> Look at how clean that is. You got the plastic here and you got a little added SEAL. I'm not used to seeing this type, this high quality here. <laughs> for these kits you probably i like the style you maybe you're so so on it's it. so small <laughs> look at it and this is why people go oh maverick that's you know that's not a man's truck that's kind of a silly thing yeah, to think and at say the anyways same time, it's not f-150 <laughs> 
on the sides. Let's put our egos aside, folks. <laughs> Let's put our egos aside. If a four and a half foot box works for you, and by the way, you can put the tailgate at a 45 degree angle. It can support, it's either three or 400 pounds. You can carry four by eight sheets of wood. Exactly how many, I can't tell you. It depends on the type of wood and the weight of the wood. But you can go up to 300 or 400 pounds when you've got that tailgate at an angle. Four by eights fit in this truck. Kayaks, canoes fit on this truck. You can go camping. You can go off-roading, If you get, especially if you get the Tremor or the FX4 package. You can tow 4,000 pounds if you get the 4K package. This truck is amazing, folks. So put your ego aside. This has nothing to do with pants size. Just because someone, your neighbor, might have an F-150 that's bigger than your Maverick or they might have a 250 Giant, it doesn't, it, let's put our egos aside and think with our wallets. And our my wallet's telling me that this is the best buy on the market. This should be truck of the year, not the F-150 Lightning. I'm sorry, Ford, but the F-150 Motor Trend, you got it wrong. The F-150 Lightning is not the 2023 truck of the, or of the year. Motor Trend, you're rarely wrong, but you're wrong. This is the truck of the year because it is the people's champ because it doesn't empty the bank account. And, and it's easy to park. <laughs> and even if you're a millionaire or you make $300,000 a year, this or $500,000 a year, this is a smart choice. Mm -hmm. Really smart choice. Yeah, totally. But yes, it's small if you park beside a giant. But if you go back not that many years, you go back 20 years, this was more standard truck size. You know, an F-150 from 20 years ago was only a little bit bigger than this. Yeah, and all the people we know that they had the, a Maverick, they really loved it. So customers are happy with that their choice it's it's a good model <laughs> it's a really good model and its depreciation is next to none or maybe you'll maybe you'll own it a year and make uh you know your pay your truck will probably be worth more than the amount you owe so i think it's a fantastic option look at that great rack so practical great colors check it out folks at least consider it do a test drive Hybrid is a great option if you can live with front wheel drive only. 4K towing offered only on the all wheel drive. It's a great unit. And I'd say that so far it's looking pretty certain that we'll have an all wheel drive hybrid model for 2025. Huge exciting news. This thing's gonna sell, so order one up. If you get it, if you order an EcoBoost now at the right dealership, you might get your EcoBoost in four months. My last e uh, Mavericks have been coming in. If they're EcoBoost, they, you know, most of them, the majority of them, were ordered only four or five months ago. Hmm, hybrid quick. though, yeah, hybrid is more like a, a year, 13, 14 months. But hybrid wait times are going to start coming down. Why? Because for certain periods of time, Ford will start, you know, will build like 70% of the what comes out of the factory will be hybrid. Now, overall on the year, um, it's not quite 70% of hybrids that will get built. But you're going to start seeing, I think, come spring or summer, you're going to be able to get an EcoBoost off the lot. Hmm. And some lots will sell them definitely at MSRP. And if you definitely want to pay MSRP, order one up. Get a signed purchase or lease offer. Get the dealer to sign it. Don't just sign it. Get them to sign the build sheet. Get them to sign the purchase or lease offer. That way you can lock in your interest rate and lock in the price. So that's my tip to save you thousands. Now, I help people save thousands. That's what I love doing. I love helping. Help us out, please. What can people do to really help us out? Like uh, the like and subscribe. Sorry. <laughs> Hit that bell notification. Yeah. Make sure you turn it on. Share this in this video with people to really help us mm -hmm. out. Uh, we've been, you know, we make a lot of videos to help people out, and we'd love your help too. Marie, you loved your Maverick. Yeah, I loved it so much, and <laughs> I'm nostalgic when I ideal. see uh, I see this one. He was is looking uh, like mine. And speaking about Maverick, Mark Davison has a, a great question. He's about to receive his 2023 Maverick. Cool, right on. Uh, he wants to know, because he wants to put an undercoat uh, as soon as possible to protect it. Is it okay to remove the underguard below to allow better spray for the undercoat? Absolutely. Any plastic protection, if you have an FX4 and you have skid plates underneath, those can definitely be removed. Uh, to have a bit of protection everywhere, then the skid plates have them sh um, covered as well. Great question, and I do recommend getting under undercoating on a Maverick. 
That'd be great. And I re even recommend waxing your paint or a ceramic detailer. Mm -hmm. I prefer a ceramic detailer twice a year because even vehicles in, let's say, Arizona, of course, vehicles near the ocean rust. Vehicles up north rust because of salt. Ocean, near ocean vehicles rust because of salt in the air. But even in Arizona, not near any oceans, no salt on the roads, obviously. Well, the sun can cook your paint, crack the clear coat, eventually remove the clear coat, and then eat through the paint, the UV rays, and you can end up with rust spots just the same. So ceramic detailer, do it yourself, save thousands of dollars. That's my advice, and that's the show for tonight. You can see Lily started making a lot of noise. She needs a little attention here. Uh, help feed and dress those poodles yeah, with a subscribe. They were good tonight. They're good. Please drop a comment. Do you like Maverick comment? Do you like this type of Ford Maverick content? We need your feedback, folks. Please let us know in the comment section.